Ask Me Anything. Ask Me Anything. Where is Okinawa? My god, where is Okinawa? It's such a sure. small island. I know. I can barely see it on a map. Okinawa is basically like just a small island on the very south of Japan. It's basically in between Taiwan and Japan. True. Now, I'll be honest with you. I, for one, I didn't know where Okinawa was. And I actually had to Google that when I, you know, oist. Uh, it's tropical. Having lived in the Caribbean, it's the, I call Okinawa the Jamaica of Japan. Uh, it's serene, the waters are blue, the people are nice, the weather is bombastic. So just th think of it as being south of Japan, a, a subtropical island. Well, I'm from Tokyo in Japan, by the way. And then I had visited Ois like when I was little, like with family. So for me, it's like, um, yeah, like warm, nice mm. place with great nature. That's one definition I had before. And then it's humid, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, mold can grow quite easily, so that's really like one, yeah, great tip for like living here. What's the weather like? I personally like the weather because there's a lot of sun here. Uh, so it's an island, so you can have crazy beautiful day with beautiful clouds and amazing sunlight, and then the next second you get rained on. Uh, apart from that, it gets super humid, but it's island weather and it's quite nice, especially because you can go enjoy it at the beaches. Don't ask me. I don't like the humidity of Okinawa. <laughs> What's one thing that surprised you about Okinawa? Mm. The price of mangoes. It's so expensive. It breaks my heart. Especially since I'm from India and we have a mango farm. But otherwise, Okinawa is cool. <laughs> Would you also like to answer For that? For me, yes. <laughs> For me, the watermelon. Super expensive. In Pakistan, watermelon is super cheap and I really miss my watermelon from Pakistan in Okinawa. Other than Okinawa, is so beautiful. Do I need a car? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you basically need a car you here. You need. There is no way that without car you can survive in Okinawa. Because in Okinawa, uh, at least where we are in Ona village, uh, there is no train system and taxis are very expensive. So forget about it to get a taxi here if you really want to save your money and survive in your stipend. So you need a car, but the good thing is here, you can get a K car, which is a super cheap car. The car I have, I cannot buy that car in Pakistan because it's very expensive, but you can see I can have it here even being a student, so that's a good way. So you can get your K car, uh, with a very cheap price, like the used car, and the dealers are good. Oyster is going to help you to find a good car. And other than that, you can enjoy whole Okinawa with your this small, teeny tiny, cute cars, as I'm doing it from last five years. What is the food like in Okinawa? What do you think? <laughs> um, it's okay. Um, there's a lot of like food you can try, I feel, because there's also a lot of Americans here, so I feel like there's a lot of like, Americanized food. Mm -hmm. But still, I think my favorite is still Okinawan soba. So, yeah, I really like it. What about you? Mm, yeah, I, I feel like I explored a lot of uh, food here, to be honest. Not just Okinawan and Japanese food, but also uh, different like food from different places and different cultures as well. Uh, so I've been vegetarian slash vegan for some time and uh, I'm, luckily also there are options for that here. So I think I'm very lucky in that regard. Okay, so next question is, do I need to learn Japanese? Um, probably a little. Um, you don't need to come here knowing any Japanese. I would say if you have even the most kind of remedial Japanese ability, but there are classes here. There are ways to improve your Japanese. I had had a little experience in Japan, so I came here knowing a little bit, but I know people who come here without knowing any Japanese and they get along just fine. Um, there's, you know, there's quite a strong American presence on the island with military bases, and so a lot of the local businesses are set up to cater to that. Um, there are some things you're going, you know, you're going to have to learn how to, you know, maybe go to the post office or go to the doctor's office and how to, uh, you know, how to navigate that. We go to the doctor's office a lot. <laughs> So, uh, okay. <laughs> with children. What do you do for fun? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say? Besides <laughs> watching anime and reading manga, um, I always we have a lot of clubs and I am a member of volleyball club. 
and I also do yoga, so that's what I do for fun. What about you, Chris? Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of clubs here. I'm an active member of the Aerial Circus Club. Ooh. We have uh, been co-running that with my friend for two years, and I also do a lot of LGBT activism on the yeah. island, trying to organize or trying to organize booths for OIS at different events called Pink Dot Okinawa. I've been there, the first year. The Pink Dot, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, nice, it's a nice event. It was very nice. Yeah, and um, doing volunteer work for them. And yeah, it's a, it's a nice nice little getaway out of voice. Yeah. Yeah. So what's Okinawa like compared to the rest of Japan? Of course, nature, beauty, calmness, silence, and a perfect place for research where you don't want any noise or disturbance. Are there earthquakes, tsunamis, sharknadoes? <laughs> sharknadoes. Not, sharknadoes, not that I know of. I've um, been here for some time. I uh -huh. haven't seen any. <laughs> Maybe there was one very small earthquake like several years ago. It was very small. Mm -hmm. Like nothing happened. Nothing even fell off the table, nothing but that's all I remember in the past uh, yeah. five years. I used to live in mainland and yeah. we have a lot of earthquakes. I feel like being here is just baby earthquakes. It's not a huge one. It's very rare, right? Yeah, it's, super it's not rare. very common in mm -hmm. Okinawa. Thank you for watching our videos. And thank you for all the questions that you sent in. Like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, post them down in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, so the key question, can I have a family and do a PhD at the same time? Um, do, you, do you want to? Uh, so, so I would say if you want to, yeah.